Good Sunday morning, HNW Preschool friends. I'm so glad we're all back together again today for our Bible story and praise and worship. And wait a minute, preschool friends, are some of you guys wearing pajamas? Well, I'll tell you a little secret. I'm in my PJs too. That's one of the great things about us spending so much time together at home right now is that we get to do fun things and normal things like church and school in our PJs. Today in our Bible story, you're going to hear about the number one way that we can follow Jesus. I'll give you a little hint. It's from a Bible verse that we already know, John 15, 12. After the Bible story today, be sure and practice our Bible verse for this month. Show mom and dad, brother and sister, your whole family how you can say the verse and do the motions and sing the song. Remember, it's come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19. But to start us off today, friends, we're going to do some praise and worship. So stand up, get ready to sing, get ready to dance. Have a wonderful Sunday, friends. I love and miss you all. We'll see you next week. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. Yes, I'm going to your house today. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, Bible! Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. I'm 
Aisha, welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special cupcake? They're called Inside Surprise because when you open them, there's a heart inside. Surprise! <laughs> I made them to remind everyone that we need to love each other. That reminds me of a story. Are you ready? If you are on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. We've been learning a lot about how to follow Jesus, but today, drum roll please. Today we are going to talk about the number one way we can follow Jesus. Everyone say, what is it? What is it? <laughs> Let's find out. Jesus and his friends were having dinner one night when Jesus said, I'm going to tell you a brand new rule to follow. Do you want to know what it is? Drum roll please. Jesus said the most important thing you can do is love others the way I have loved you. Whoa! <laughs> if we want to follow Jesus, the number one thing we can do is to love others. So let's practice. Let's say you and a friend are riding bikes and your friend falls down. What do you do? Do you stop and help or do you keep riding? <gasps> you stop and help! That's loving others like Jesus. Okay, what if your friend Rosa is over to play in the sandbox with you, but you've only got one shovel? Do you keep it to yourself or share with Rosa? You share with Rosa. That's loving like Jesus. Okay, what if you find out your older brother accidentally broke your Lego creation? Do you stay angry with your brother or do you forgive your brother and work together on building a new one? You forgive your brother. That's right. That's loving like Jesus. See, you guys are awesome already. <laughs> Remember, if you want to follow Jesus, then the most important number one thing to do is to love people the way Jesus does. The most important thing is love. What is it? Love. Say it again. Love. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who can you follow? I can follow Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you follow? I can follow Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus loves everyone, so we can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Jesus is the most special leader, and when we follow Jesus, we can love others the way he loves us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Hey, you know what? Once these cookies are done, I'm gonna love like Jesus and share them with everyone in my neighborhood. I'm going to make them for the lifeguard, the crossing guard, my teacher. Well, I guess this means that this chef better get cooking. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19.